uh, for level four. Uh, the first su subject is how to calculate translation gains or loss without preparing a financial statement at international accounting standard number 21, a temporal method. The first step is to calculate uh, is net monetary assets at January 1st, year, year 1, uh, or year X, year 1, uh, times the current rate minus historical rate. A net monetary assets equal monetary assets at January 1st year 1 minus monetary liabilities at January 1st year 1. All of them times rate at December 31 year 1 minus rate at January 1st year 1. Uh, but the, uh, يعني, the monetary, all liabilities are monetary liabilities. I cannot see that. Transactions happened during the year that will increase monetary assets, less sales. Sales times the current rate minus historical rate. Sales times the rate at December 31, year 1 minus average rate for year 1. Step number 3, transactions happened during the year that will decrease monetary assets. Uh, purchase times the rate at December 31 minus the average for the rate for year 1. And operating expenses the same equation times the rate at December 31 minus average rate for year 1. Income taxes times the rate at December 31 year 1 minus the average rate for year 1. The only difference is in step D, dividends times the rate at December 31, year 1, minus a rate at the date of payment dividends. A total of step number 3 is to add A plus B plus C plus D. The result is transaction gains or loss. Okay, example, exercise 17, page 320, required. Calculate translation gains or loss without preparing a financial statement at temporal method at international accounting standard number 21. Uh, our monetary assets minus monetary liabilities. The monetary assets is 300,000 minus monetary liabilities, they are 500,000. Come at January 1st year 1. Times the current rate lower at December 31, lower 0.110. Minus the historical rate lower at January 1st, year 1, lower 0.090. The result is minus 200,000 times 0.020. The result is minus 4,000. Step number two. Sales times the current rate minus historical rate. The sales is 1 million. The current rate, lower rate at December 31, year 1, 0.110 minus average rate lower 0.096. The result is 1 million times 0.014. The result is 14,000. Step number three, we have to start with to calculate purchase because the exercise, we do, we do not have the purchase, how much purchase is, is, is. The cost of goods sold, beginning inventory, plus purchase minus ending inventory. Cost of goods sold is 600,000 equal. The beginning inventory and I get the balance sheet at January 1st, zero. Plus purchase uh, minus ending inventory and I get the balance sheet at December 31. If it's 600,000 plus 270,000, you need purchase, which is 870,000. So, step A, B, C, the items times the current rate minus the average rate. The average rate, the average rate, the current rate, current rate minus average rate, the 0.014. For the purchase, operating expenses, uh, income taxes, all of them times 0.014. I did 12,180 to 100, 1,260. Dividends times the current rate minus the rate at the date of payment dividends. 
If you remember in this exercise, the payment of the dividends was paid part of it, 20,000 at June 1st, and the other part at December 1st. In December, uh, June 1st, a rate betaha was 0.095. At December 1st, its rate was 0.105. The result is 300 plus 100, 400. The total of step number 3 is 15,940. Translation gains or loss. Translation gains or loss. So size 16, page 320 required, calculate translation gains or loss without preparing a financial statement at current method at international accounting standard number 21. Solution, a first step, total assets minus total liabilities times current rate minus historical rate. Total assets 800,000 minus 500,000. The current rate you know, at December 31, 0.110 minus historical rate at January 1st, you know, 0.090. 300,000 times 0.020 equals 6,000. Second step, net income times the current rate minus historical rate. 110 times the rate at December 31, 0.110 minus the average for year one, 0.096. The result is 110,000 times 0 0.14, 1540. The dividends, part of it was paid at June 1st, the other part was paid at December 1st. 20,000 times the current rate 0 0.110 minus historical rate 0 0.090. The second part 20,000 times 0 0.110 minus rate at December 1st 0 0.105. 300 plus 100, then 400. Translation gains or loss is equal one plus uh, step number one plus two minus three six thousand plus one five forty minus four hundred. The result is seven one forty.